a real bad scenario. An accident waiting to happen. These construction workers don't know what the hell they're doing out here. They, they, they need to have something up there. Slow down. Construction ahead. And you come around, you come up the hill at 90 miles an hour and slam it on your brakes. You're trying to cause a fucking accident. You need to slow down. I'm going to tell his ass too. This is enough is enough. I'm taking my life into my own fucking hands out here. Look, come up right up on him. Right up on him. Slow down. Man, you need somebody up on that hill before an accident happens. Yeah, slow the fuck down. Hurt my fucking twat. Really bad. Excuse my language, but road work ahead should be up there over that fucking hill. You're coming around a hill off the fucking bend at 90 miles an hour and completely stop. And you could get slammed by these fucking trucks, especially construction working trucks. And I know they're doing a job. I know they're laying the road and they're doing an awesome job doing it for Burke County. These roads were torn up and needed to be fixed about 20 years ago. But they need to do proper care when they're doing construction and road care. I mean, they got signs up here, but they don't have signs around the bin. You're going to come prepared to stop because, or flashing lights or something, because this, that's going to be an accident waiting to happen. This is some beautiful, the Amish, they make really good sheds here. Eventually, hopefully, yeah, slow down. <laughs> I got post-traumatic stress disorder, Oakland stru um, structures, pass with care, don't pass, bullshit. These people are giving me anxiety. I'm going to have a stroke on this fucking road. Here we go. Hit your flashes. Everyone's hitting your flashes. Hit your flashes so the truck behind you knows. Uh, I'm recording your ass. Yes, I do. You see him? I'm going to find out what job this is and nobody's doing anything. And when the accident happens and you have your fat ass on your roller and you ain't doing your damn job by fucking posting signs... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to yell at these bitches because I have post-traumatic stress disorder from a really bad accident. And it's not good when I'm ready to jump the fuck out of this goddamn truck and roll, jump, and tuck because of shit like this. Like, you come to complete stops and you don't even know you're coming to a complete stop. And then you got another 18-wheeler behind you that's going to smash into your ass. I'm going to drop my cigarette right on your pretty nice road. When the roller comes through, my cigarette's gonna land there. Yeah, you think right. I get in trouble? You gave me post-traumatic stress disorder. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can they get signs up there around that bin up the whole road? It was almost a bad accident out here. I'm gonna tell everybody, whoever it is, they look at. I don't know who it is. Hi friend, how are you? Take your lunch break. Working hard. Thank you for the pretty road. Thank you for the pretty road. Thank you. Yeah. Sniff that tar, bitch. Thank you. Now he hollering. Sue is the supervisors down there in these fucking trucks, man. Yeah, I'm recording their asses. It is the wood company, and that's all it says, wood. They're smoking a lot of wood, a lot of 420 wood, for sure. It's an undercover sign for wood. Now, we have to drive real slow because it's going to come to a sudden stop again. And this cancerous shit they put on the roads, and then it rains, and it drains into our waterway and kills our deers that drink the water, and then you eat the deer, and it's got tar in it. You wonder why the animals are all fucked up because of the roads they put in. At least in Florida, they use seashells for their roads. Woo! Woo woo! <laughs> that's what that's what Stubbs to say. The Stubbs come running out these woods. Woo woo! Woo woo! Woo woo! When do we go back in the other lane? No one's over here. I don't know. I don't, I think right now you could get on. Get on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. With everybody else, I get on the other lane now. I don't know. Big 18 wheel. Nobody's out here. No one's guarding traffic. We're still on the other road. Nobody's doing their job. 
They're all in their trucks on lunch break. Dangerous! You all should be fired! Nobody's out here saying shit to nobody. And that's some crazy I slow down because they, I see they're hitting brakes again. Ah! I don't know. Today is not a good day. Definitely will go around Drew Burnstow Road and take the back way where the cops are sitting. But they need to be out here and pilot car, you ain't even doing your job. Don't wave at me, bitch! Do your job! <laughs> we ain't coming back this way. Georgia! See, they have to replace their signs. No more redneck signs. Ha ha ha. Long pine leaf trees. Remember what I was telling you, folks? You take the American Indians used to grow these trees on their land and to use them to make straw baskets. It's not putting pretty designs around your house and keeping you nice and warm and pretty designs around your flower bed. It was meant to make baskets and weave baskets so they could carry their fruits and vegetables everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yep, I do a lot of I do a lot of history out here in Georgia because I'd be finding a lot of stuff and I'm like, what is this? And then I take a picture of it and then I look around and find it and find the history on it. Atlanta, I had a gold mine on my land. We're easy cruising for now until we suddenly have to hit our brakes again. Hey, you could probably sell this online. It's Miss Sophia from the Golden Girls. We got a ch 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 chia She looks kind of mad here. They could have done a little better face on her. She looks kind of mad. That's okay. She was kind of irritated at the, uh, what's her name? The dumb one. Uh -huh. The dumb one. What was her name? Oh, Rose. Yeah, Rose. Rose kind of picks her ass off. But Grandma outlived everyone. Rose is still alive. Rose is still kicking. Yeah. She's dead now, but she was old. She was good at mannequin. <laughs> oh, mannequin that yeah. Was yeah. See, now we're slamming on our brakes again. We're going, what, at 60 miles an hour and drop down to nothing. Zero. Bullshit. We need to get that temp tag right there. Boom. <laughs> Don't worry. You know, I always break down something to make get what I need to get. I like breaking down and figuring out how I could get around people's asses. I just need a tag for when I So, brother fine. bought a camper. And now, he can't, he can't do nothing with the camper because they need a VIN number with the bill of sale that the lady gave us. And we bought it all the way out of there in Macon, Georgia. No, further. Thomas Thompson, Georgia. Basically, what? The Georgia-Alabama borderline, which was four hours there and six hours back because we had the camper. And now we can't get the tag for the camper because they need the VIN number and there is no VIN number but there are tags on the camper and I'm just thinking like you know how people are like me swipe a, swipe a tag and throw it on the camper so they could transport it and now we might be here with a dummy camper and we can't do shit and if we have to apply for a VIN number just to get a VIN number for the camper for them it's going to cost some money to do it is this camper worth doing all that shit fuck no sell it get rid of it buy yourself another camper that's how I look at it buy it sell it get the money back owe the three four hundred dollars out and call it a day <laughs> and, and live in, and live in the back room until you can get something a little more better for yourself you can't when I say don't buy shit I mean it's not that I'm being negative I'm just know the scenario well, what you're going to get yourself into and here we are we got a living creature living in it i think it's a snake crawled up in there i do see a lot of evidence of mice in there which is normal for campers especially if you're not taking care of it it's from 19 what 1972 two years older than me so it's 47 years old oh so <laughs> Hello, I'm 74. It's 72. That's 47 years old. Uh, Two years. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm really surprised it made it from all the way there to Midville with no pocket problems. Oh, and to I'm the deer. <laughs> At 80 miles an hour. <laughs> I was really surprised the tires didn't fucking blow out. The tires are probably better because it's older. I don't know. 
And then, um, okay, you're gonna have to slow down because you're gonna be making, uh, in like 10 minutes, so a right here turn. These thick lighters are really starting to turn to trash. Yeah, because it's spraying a lot more chemicals on it. This is the Mennonite church. Mennonite. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm breaking. I just stand you to come to fuck wherever we have such... I don't do good in traffic. This is why I really don't drive anymore, but I really need to be in the back seat because I don't do well. Look at the, look at the cows. There's all your milk, mo babies. There's all your milky cows and your beef cows, your dairy cows. You see them all out there? And all those female cows have babies. And if it's a male cow, they take it away and put it in those dog pens back there. They'll sell them off for $300 a piece or take them right away to the slaughterhouse because a male cow has nothing to do in a milking industry and they are killed right away and that's where you get your hamburgers, your chopped meat, your steaks, and whatever else you fucking eat. Don't eat animals. They deserve to live in a happy free world. There's lots of fields out here. Just let them come out and enjoy what they like to do. Stresses of life. Well, no, there's a plate on it from 1992. Let's 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 not well, think the worst. Let's pray for the good, okay? Yeah. If they pray for pray. the good, yes, yeah, we you you prayer. stop the negative thinking. First, you have to. Well, it's from 1992. I'm pretty sure they have a fucking. But you have to make sure that those plates are for that camper. I ain't saying shit. Just give me a fucking plate. I don't care if it's Just say, I, got a, I bought this camper and I like to get a tag for it. Hand her the paperwork. I just got off the phone with her. She just told me to bring in the bill of sale. You got to get names. Look, they're baby milk baby Babies! She's drunk driving. They're drunk drivers. She's smoking her dope and popping her pills. They do, and they have no insurance. They got a temporary plate. What do you know? I got a video on her, so this is go. <laughs> I'm a video person. I document everything. You just never know what you see in the fucking country. I see a lot of shit. But yeah, this 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 camper has already been a nightmare with the animal living in it. Definitely think it's a snake in there. I have seen evidence of mouse droppings. I laid, we laid glue boards. We put a trap in there with peanut butter to lure it in. It might not, I mean, it might not be there. It might not come, it might not be able to come out. I don't know, maybe it's stuck in there. I don't, I have no idea. The whole top part of the roof is filled with tar. That was a big no-no right there from the get-go because tar eats everything, the chemicals in, the chemicals in this shit right here, this asphalt, eats through everything and anything. And that just, that right there is about $2,000 worth of work. Just to rip off a new roof, new plywood. Uh, plywood and the Pink Panther, you probably have to get two rolls of that. And slap and zap it up in there. And But if the camper does have potential, I'm not, it's not getting wrong that it's not a bad camper. It has potentials, but it's a lot of work to put in it. 